Flyers breakup day, and we're with Flyers forward Scott Lawton. Lots, how are you? Uh, not too bad, yeah. A um, little bit tough to, to be ending at uh, this time of year, but a uh, couple good steps in the right direction, and excited about the future here. That first day you wake up when the season's over, what goes through your mind? goes by quick. It. Uh, I can't believe uh, I'm almost done what is it, my ninth or tenth year now, and, and uh, going through it, but uh, it flies by. Uh, you get through halfway through the year, and it uh, feels like you're playing a lot of games, and then end of the year, and um, seems like it's so quick, and, and uh, yeah, so it's uh, it's tough, uh, especially when you're, you're ending, when it starts to get nice outside, and, and uh, that's when you want to play meaningful hockey, and, and uh have that uh, that atmosphere around, but uh, yeah, take a couple steps in the right direction this year and, and uh, have some good things happen. You got power play time for the first time this year. You had career highs in goals, assists, and points uh, with 18 goals. Two more, are you going to look back on that and go, man, what? if I could have just got that one in or I could have knocked in that rebound, I could have had the 20. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think so. And, and uh, you look at it... Uh, I mean, being given the opportunity on the power play this year, I think definitely helped and, and uh, just getting the puck touches and, and uh, going through that. So, um, yeah, I, I think it's a nice milestone to reach. But uh, at the same time, uh, you can look back at, uh, at a couple games and, and uh, wish you, you had a couple, but uh, it didn't happen. And uh, that's just the way it goes. Scotty, you were the only guy that wore a letter this year uh, for John Tortorella. And there's a lot of young players here. How comfortable are you in that role of helping those young players? You, you know, you, like you mentioned, you've been in the league now. I guess it's technically ten years, but really nine full seasons in the NHL. You know, what's that role like, and and rewarding? You know, how rewarding is it to to help those guys kind of get acclimated to the NHL game? Yeah, uh, Torts gave me that uh, that role early on, and and. Uh... I take a lot of pride in it. Uh, take a lot of pride in this franchise and, and us doing well. So um, I've been through it, uh, going down and, and uh, playing in the minors for uh, 100 games and, and being down there and, and seeing what it's like and um, kind of the grind to, to get back up and, and to stay in the NHL. So I think any little advice you can give throughout uh, the year, especially for the young guys that come up from college or junior, and, and uh, it's a long season. It's hard. Uh, you're on the road all the time, and, and uh, your body gets worn down, and, and uh, it's kind of the best way you can keep uh, keep level-headed throughout the year and, and uh, not uh, let the highs get too high and, and lows get too low. And, and I think uh, you try and do that just with a positive attitude every day and, and – uh, bring the same energy and compete and um, that's what I've tried to do since I've kind of came up from the minors is, is be that same guy that I every day and, and be consistent and, and it's tough to do but uh, I think uh, that's what I try and take pride in and, and uh, help those young guys. You're an interesting guy because you can keep it loose and joke around and chirp and have fun with the boys in the room and everything but you also take the being a flyer very serious. I remember for your 500th game, it was pretty emotional for you. And, you know, getting this team back up into that upper pantheon of the NHL is something that I imagine you take very seriously. Yeah, I do. And and uh, to be honest, my parents surprised me that day. It was, uh, it was pretty special, I think. Uh, you look back at milestones like that and um, you see all the people that helped you along the way, my wife and, and my parents, my brother and, and uh, my wife's family and, and just my grandparents and everyone that's been involved in it and, and they've seen it. And uh, I grew up in Philly and, and uh, they've been a huge part of that. So um, yeah, that's the thing. I grew up here. I've been here. This is pretty much home for me now. Um, I love living here. I, lo I love being part of this community and I love getting in the community and, and being part of that. So like you said, it's it's huge for me to, to try and get this thing turned in the right direction and, and uh, help this franchise out and, and uh, be a part of the solution. And, and I want to be going forward and um, hopefully I am and, and uh, we move forward and, and continue to grow as a group. How would you characterize playing under torts in year one, like in a sentence? Um, very demanding, uh, fair, and uh, 
yeah, it gets the most out of you, I think. And and uh, if you're not going, um, you're not going to play. And and uh, I think that's the way it should be. And uh, I absolutely loved it. Uh, I know this is more than a sentence, but uh, no, I love playing for them. Um, like I said, very demanding training camp and and uh, everything that he puts you through, but uh, it, it helps out at the end. And and I think it's huge for the young guys to come into the league and have that, um, and, and to see. Uh, how much work it does take and, and to get to that next level. And I, I think Torch is the perfect guy for it. Um, he treated me with a ton of respect and, and uh, gave me a huge role and um, kind of helped my game uh, take off this year. So uh, I'm looking forward to, to getting back to summer training and, and getting ready for that training camp and, and uh, getting going again. But, uh, yeah, it still stings a little bit and, and uh, to have – this long of a summer again and, and going through this but uh, it's a process and and we all know that and and uh, yeah I want to be a part of it I'm never going to ask you for a question to be answered in a sentence again <laughs> um, last thing for you what's the plan to to unplug and what's your summer what's the summer look like for you and your wife yeah uh, gonna go on a trip here um, see what's going on uh, with world championships uh, see if I'll go over there and, and uh, try and help uh, where's it at this year uh, Tim Perry, Finland, and uh, Riga, Latvia. So mm. we'll see what happens with that uh, in the next couple of days. Uh, hopefully try and uh, help Team Canada win a gold. But uh, that will be uh, a special experience if I'm able to go over there. And then a uh, couple weddings, I'm uh, best man for that uh, Boone Jenner in Columbus. So oh. I'll be there and, and a couple more weddings and then just some time at home with uh, friends and family and um Try and get my handicap a little bit lower. Yeah, get, and get the skates back on in July, mid-July? Yeah, mid-July usually. Uh, it's been later and later every every year I've gone through my career. And um, usually get on with my skating coach uh, early July, just once a week, and, and kind of get my stride back and then um, start skating with, uh, with our gym and have all those high-intensity skates and, and everything like that. But, uh, yeah, I'll take a little bit of time off here and uh, try and let the body uh, get back to where it needs to be and um, get right back after it. How many strokes has Coatsy given you? <laughs> i, I got to give Coatsy probably eight aside. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll be riding around in that Flyers golf cart, so it's that's gonna good. It's going to be legendary. Yeah. Oh. I told him that the under the seats is a, an electric cooler. <laughs> yeah. Said, I don't drink after. I don't drink during the round. Well, we got him a cooler. We got him a nice little cooler bag to keep his beers cold. So hopefully, <laughs> uh, hopefully he uses that. That's called knowing the man and getting the right <laughs> gift. Lots well, enjoy the summer, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm already chomping at the bit for next year, but that's just the way I'm wired. For some reason, I can't stand when the game's away. But thanks for doing this great season, and we'll talk next year. Thanks, Jason.